Yo guys, what is up? Garrett McCouchy's Cummings back again with another reaction to Ruby. Now, where we last left off with episode 8, the players in pieces, uh, the two teams we saw were able to not only retrieve the artifacts from the temples, but also thwarted the monsters that they encountered. And now we have two teams, one led by Ruby and one led by Jean. Now, we will see what happens, to, happens next. Will they turn out to be good leaders? I think so. Anyway, let's get right to the reaction. Alright everybody, we're going to be reacting to episodes 9 and 10, The Badge and the Burden, parts 1 and 2, in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Good morning, Team Ruby! What in the world is wrong with you? Now that you're awake, we can officially begin our first order of business. Excuse like the attire, Ruby. Decorating! What? We still have to unpack. Oh, yeah. Um, clean. Love you, Blake. All right! Weiss, Blake, Yang, and their fearless leader, Ruby, have begun their first mission. Not to pause this video, but in old school RuneScape, when I re recently did um, a quest called Gertrude's Quest, where you get a pet kitten after rescuing one, I actually named my black kitten I got after Blake. <laughs> a little fun fact. Anyway, continuing. Three, two, one, go. Bonsai! Bonsai! <laughs> Now, Weiss might be the odd one out for now, at least. <laughs> oh, Blake. Oh, wow. going to work. It is a bit cramped. Maybe we should ditch some of our stuff. Or we could ditch the beds and replace them with bunk beds. Um, that sounds incredibly dangerous. And super awesome. It does seem efficient. Well, we should put it to a vote. I think we just did. <laughs> Objective complete. <laughs> All right, our second order of business is classes. Now we have a few classes together today. At nine, we've got to be. What? Did you say nine o'clock? Um, it's eight fifty-five. You dunce. Yeah. College uh, life. Isn't it a bitch? Uh, oh, scheduling, that's... anyway. Uh, uh, we're gonna be late. Yeah, I've been there. Monsters! Demons! Prowlers of the night! Yes, the creatures of Grimm have many names, but I merely refer to them as prey. Ha ha! Ha ha! And you shall too upon graduating from this prestigious academy. Now, as I was saying, Veil as well as the other three kingdoms, are safe havens in an otherwise treacherous world. Our planet is absolutely teeming with creatures that would love nothing more than to tear you to pieces. Yeah, no doubt about That's it. That's where we come in. Huntsmen. Huntresses. Uh... <laughs> Individuals who have sworn to protect those who cannot protect themselves. From what you ask? Why, the very world. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
That is what you are training to become. But first, a story. A tale of a young, handsome man. Me, when I was a boy. Despite smelling of cabbages, my grandfather was a wise man. Peter, he told me. <laughs> In the end, the Beowulf was no match for my sheer tenacity, and I returned to my village with the beast in captivity and my head held high. Celebrate it as a hero. The moral of this story? A true huntsman must be honorable. A true huntsman must be dependable. A true huntsman must be strategic, well-educated, and wise. So, who among you believes themselves to be the embodiment of these traits? I do, sir. Well, then. Let's find out. Step forward and face your opponent. Hands on. <laughs> that was pretty, um, pretty interesting. <laughs> Felt like Pokemon, but more slapstick. <laughs> All right, we're going to be going right into the next episode, episode 10. In three, two, one. Go. And hopefully it is. Let's see what you got, Weiss. Go, Weiss! Fight well! Yeah, I represent <laughs> Team Ruby! Ruby, I'm trying to focus! Oh, uh, sorry. All right, let the match begin! <laughs> Some uh -huh. sort of grim war hog. Uh, expecting that, were you? Whoa! Hold your approach! I like it! Come on, Weiss! Show it who's plus! Oh no! What will you do without your weapon? Nice. Weiss! Go for its belly! There's no armor underneath! Stop telling me what to do! That might be a downfall. Or not. Bravo! Yet. Bravo! It appears we are indeed in the presence of a true huntress in training. Wouldn't it be brava? Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to cover the assigned readings and stay vigilant. Class dismissed. Sheesh, what's with her? We shall what? find out. What? What's wrong with you? Why are you being- What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be a leader, and all you've been so far is a nuisance. What did I do? That's just it. You've done nothing to earn your position. Back in the forest, you acted like a child, and you've only continued to do so. Weiss, where is this coming from? What happened to all the talk about working together? I thought you believed in acting as a team. Not a team led by you. I've studied and trained, and quite frankly, I deserve better. Ozpin made a mistake. Oh my god. Hmm. Now that didn't seem to go very well. Is she right? Did you make a mistake? That remains to be seen. Professor Port! Ah, Miss Cheney. And to what do I owe this fine pleasure? I... I enjoyed your lecture. Of course you did, child. You have the blood of a true huntress in you. You really think so? 
Most surely. Hmm. Something's troubling you. Yes, sir. Dear girl, confess to me. Does he strength. ever open his eyes? Well, I think I should have been the leader of Team Ruby. That's preposterous. What do you mean? I mean, it's only been one day. Ruby, I've made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet. But at this moment, I would not consider your appointment to leader to be one of them. Do you? Excuse me? I've believed in Professor Osborn for many years, and the man's never once led me astray. So you would just blindly accept his decision, even after seeing how exceptional I am? With all due respect, your exceptional skill on the battlefield is matched only by your poor attitude. How dare you! My point exactly. I see a girl before me who has spent her entire life getting exactly what she wanted. That's not even remotely true. Well, not entirely true. Being a team leader isn't just a title you carry into battle, but a badge you wear constantly. If you are not always performing at your absolute best, then what reason do you give others to follow you? So the outcome did not fall Heavy in your responsibility favor. right there. Do you really believe that acting in such a manner would cause those in power to reconsider their decision? So instead of fretting about what you don't have, savor what you do. Hone your skills, perfect every technique, and be not the best leader, but the best person you can be. You've been burdened with a daunting responsibility, Ruby. I advise you take some time to think about how you will uphold it. Take your coffee. Uh, I I don't answer the question. Uh, cream and five sugars. <sighs> don't move. Here. Um. Thanks, Weiss. Ruby, I think you have what it takes to be a good leader. Just know that I am going to be the best teammate you will ever have. Good luck studying. That's wrong, by the way. Hey, Ruby? Uh-huh. I always wanted bunk beds as a kid. Aw. A little bit of chemistry beginning. Alright, so that was episodes 9 and 10 of Ruby. So, so far we've begun to see some chemistry between the characters, particularly between Ruby and Weiss, and perhaps we will see some chemistry between their strengths and weaknesses and how they will go about that. Anyway, this has been Garrett McCouchy's Cummings, another reaction to Ruby. Looking forward to, uh, to the next couple episodes. Anyway, till next time, peace out.